What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more Once Human Closed Beta. Today, we are picking up right where we left off. Uh, we are currently level 9, just about, almost level 10. I do want to go over to this uh, side quest that I picked up for the uh, lighthouse, and then afterwards, we're going to make our way back over to the main story, which is this one. Welcome back. A little bit over leveled for it right now uh, i've been doing some exploration we went over to the citrus county last time and same thing with the rotten manor progressed the main story a bit and we finally got our bike now too which uh, i crafted it at the very beginning of the last episode so we're not going to delay we're just going to jump right into it as always if you guys enjoy it leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference and we'll see if we hit that 20 like goal as always too um, but yeah, we're going to spawn this thing in and then make our way over there. I've still been using a lot of the the bow as my main weapon. But to be honest, I mean, and probably being able, uh, over leveled doesn't help a lot. I haven't really needed to use any guns yet. I unlocked a few abilities to like craft some uh, kind of cool stuff now. So like we can make the AK. But right now I'm kind of just holding out. For the moment, I guess. Could also make this thing, which is kind of cool. I didn't really look at that yet. Do I have enough to make the tier two? You know what? Let me see. No, I don't even have enough to make this one. I think I have enough to make tier one, though. Yeah, I do. But I'll stick with my current weapons. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be stuff that drops anyways, because there are a decent amount of weapons. Oh sweet well that's good to know uh there are a good amount of weapon cases that we've been finding during exploration so hopefully i'll find more like that but yeah still still really enjoying this i did take a, a decent break uh from the last episode that i did so i didn't do it back to back this time like i kind of was expecting to but that's okay too uh, let's see if we can go up this. Come on, you're almost there. All right. Well, luckily, I can run up it. Let's see. What's the best route of getting over there? Oh, maybe. Do I have to... I guess I have to run there. We got a teleportation device i haven't actually used one of these yet so this will be my first time let me grab that real fast and then we'll make our way over to uh that objective there yeah the last time it gave me an introduction introduction for one of these but i didn't actually grab it until now rosetta all right yeah, I don't think there's any bridges that connect directly there, so we might have to go for a swim. Can we go for a swim? Entered contaminated water. It looks like over there, there might be a way of getting across without swimming. But I'm, I'm halfway there already, so... <laughs> That's fine. I feel a bit chilly. New area discovered and we leveled up. Nice. All right, we got a new specialization effect. I can unlock too. The more I play this game, the more I get excited for the, the full release though. Because I, I think there's a lot of really cool stuff here. And it will be nice once the game's like actually out. And then you're not... Like you can dedicate time to it. And not have to worry about wiping every time. Alright, so... Um, the last time I learned that... And honestly, I might change it. So this, this jump boost thing... Is not... Um, oh, ooh, you have to use an item to reset it? Huh. Um, this is actually, it's not a special ability that you get. It's an item that you can get and then it lets you do that. Like, so you can craft that item and then use it to do that jump. 
I didn't know it was like that. I thought it was just going to be an ability that you get. Um, maybe it's it's better than I can think, but uh, there are some other bonuses. Yeah, like I think this Moonlight Mining was one I could have selected. Uh, custom Gear Workbench. Our crafted using it enjoys 30% max durability. Ooh, that's, that's actually pretty sick. Portable Diving Gear. When this item is in your backpack, you get max oxygen. Huh. That's kind of cool. Facility boost, flamethrower trap. Uh, okay. Honestly, I might go with this one. The Master Craftsman. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. And then I do have some mimic abilities that i could use but i'm gonna i'm gonna hold them for right now Dude, this area looks awesome the heck let me take a nice screenshot going to the lighthouse yeah i figure out how to use the camera in this game because i feel like I'm probably gonna be able to take some pretty cool stuff uh, let's see. What happens if I turn off the... Oh, there we go. We hide. There we are. That might be a thumbnail right there. Who knows? Maybe it will. I don't know. If I kill the... No. I'm sorry, bunny. But listen... Uh, yeah. I want to see if you can get hide from this. So the thing is, there was something I wanted to make. I think it was a weapon or maybe an upgrade, and I didn't have enough hide for it. But from now on, whoa. Oh, huh. Like, an instance. But yeah, so from now on, when I see like animals or something, I'm going to try to actually uh, get some hide from them. What is this? There's an icon right here. I'm getting like, I don't know why, but I'm getting like breakpoint vibes from this little facility. Personally, I think that game is pretty good in it in its current state now. It wasn't on release, but now I think it's great. Especially with immersive mode. Definitely makes it better. Alright, we got rabbit meat and no hide. Okay. I wasn't sure if we would get any from that. If I see any deer, though, I'll probably go after them. It really does feel like you run into zombies and enemies more than you do for the rest of the uh, wildlife. This area looks awesome. Like 10 minutes in. And <laughs> we've got like some ran over to this island here with all the palm trees and everything. Very tropical. All right, here's the lighthouse. That lighthouse, that lighthouse is a beacon on the sea diving Driving out the darkness. Find the lighthouse with this clue. Alright, let's try going inside. Oh, lighthouse keeper. You are... I don't think their character models like placed there yet or something. <laughs> My lighthouse is a beacon on the sea. Uh, 
uh, bringing light into the darkness. Oh, shoot, which one was it? It's either drive out the darkness and the evil. Bringing light into the darkness. My lighthouse can only do so much. Driving out the darkness. Oh, it was that one. Lighthouse plantation key. Open the crate using the key. Oh, there we go. Just like that, we got it. Fourth option. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't see these before, like right when we got here. Pick the fourth, my lord. Man. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. Well, let me take one more. Let's uh let's do one of these. One more time. You know? Can't go wrong with it. What else can we do here? Like with my character. Show character poses. There you go that works how do you do the i you know i've been playing this game for like i don't know four hours total i still don't know how to do the uh emotes in the world quick pin then message I could ask the, uh, the chat in game to see if anybody knows. Track tasks, space time, interact with target, the menu, quick pin. Let me try quick pin. Switch to expressions. Somebody else is here now. What am I doing? I'm going to ask them, how do you leave a message in the world? See if anybody answers. Oh, build an item called Whisper. Drag it into your bar and then use it. Oh, okay. I'll have to keep an eye out for that then. Maybe when we're back at the base. There we go. First friendly user interaction. <laughs> uh, what is this? There's, I see there's a marker. Wait, this says attack. There's also an icon right here. Yeah, this area does not look finished. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's part of the, uh, you know, the closed beta aspect. All right, let's 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 go back over to my... Um, go back to my territory. And then I'm going to head to the road, hop on my bike, and then probably head back to the main story. Let me see if I can actually craft that item. So it's called a Whisper. Mm, I don't, oh, this thing. Oh, drop or check a note. 
used to drop or check a node. A butterfly gently flaps its wings. Fade away once the scribe looks away. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let me actually craft... I'll, I'll make five. And then... I forget what it was. Maybe it was armor. All-purpose plastic. Okay. Yeah, I still, I'm still wearing the test subject mask right now. <laughs> it would be nice if I got the other stuff, but that's okay. All right, we'll grab those. I'll just hold on to them just so I have it. Do Pathfinder. Use the camera to take a picture of a deer, wolf, or crocodile. Unlock the resource detection. Gathering resource prospecting. Well, let me see actually. Resource. Oh, I can spell. Oh, it's right here. Infrastructure. What does it do? Basic ore that scans and marks materials in the environment. Sure. I'll pick that up. like that all right yeah so if i find a deer i'll take a picture of it first then after i take the picture um yeah 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 yeah. all right let's bring my bike out is there another quest over here there is you know what let's go do it Oh, there's a deer. There's two deers. Take the picture. Photo. Oh, wow. Oh, hey there, buddy. I'm sorry. I need hide. Wow, they're, they're everywhere right now. Don't worry, you're not going to waste, I promise. I'm sorry. Got to hide from that one. Oh my god, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna kill the small ones. You're so cute. Look at that little guy. It's literally tiny. All right. I'll kill one, one more. One more. Ragdoll. Okay. All right, we're good. I forget. I really don't remember what I needed it for, but I know something required to hide at the end of my last uh, video. So now that we we have like six hide, we'll should we should be good to go. They're just so hard to come by. But of course, right there, so many of them popped in. Okay. Almost here. Found the territory. All right, let's hop off. Now, oh, it's this guy, the the gentleman we met last time. Hello. Savignon Blanc, 
or Pinot Grigio? Hmm? What? I'm afraid I only have two kinds right now. Both whites. Not a lot of wineries left once civilization collapses, unfortunately. What's your deal? You didn't call me over here just to share a drink. What's your game? Straight to the point. I like that. All of a sudden we start talking yes, now. Yes, there are some things I want out there. Deviations. An ordinary person couldn't handle them, so I'm looking for someone capable to find them and bring them back for me. And you, you look plenty capable. But also, no offense, like you might be a bit short of funds. So how about we help each other out? You'll pay me to run your errands. Precisely. I'm offering true hard currency. Batteries. Dollars, euros, pounds, those are all just scrap paper now. Batteries, on the other hand, corrosion-resistant, conductive, now those are worth something. You just have to go to these locations on the map, the last places those deviations were spotted. They won't be easy to catch, so you'd better go prepared. All right. I can't make any promises. But if this agreement's as mutually beneficial as you say, I'll see if I can find the time. Of course. Just remember, if you find yourself stymied in your progress or your cash runs, that there's a humble scholar here who studies deviations. Okay. Hey, Honda. Thanks for the sub there. <laughs> I still have notifications enabled when I do the recordings. So that still goes through but thank you for the sub there appreciate it investigate the deviation uh deviated toy and investigate the deviation electric iron where they they're both over so there's one's over here and the other one is over there i mean this thing's level six i feel like i should go do that but you know what yeah i'll, I'll go do this Since I'm a little bit over the uh, the main objective. Oh, whoops. Got to turn around this way. Okay. And we are back on track. Yeah, I really, I don't know, something about going to the locations or the cities so far has been pretty, pretty fun and exciting to do. Like exploring the, uh, the buildings and finding items to pick up and all that. So simple, but I enjoy it. All right, let's talk to Mary. Nice work with the rift anchors. I guess you're the real deal after all. Oh, he doesn't say anything. Okay. Sounds tough, but I think it was worth it. Each time a rift anchor was activated, there was an obvious reaction inside the monolith. The deviation must be holed up inside. So what's the plan? Let's go in together this time. I'm curious about that troublemaker inside. And besides, we're a team. I brought some ammo and meds for us as well. Now let's go. All right. Focus lead, explore monolith of greed. Placing a new campsite would destroy your existing one, yeah. That's fine. I don't know. Everybody has their campsite here, so I'm going to drop mine, too, <laughs> while I'm at it. Plus, that cleared up the spot at the old spot, uh, old location I was at. I wonder if I could have grabbed my bike to, 
to drive up here. Wait, this is somebody's territory? Oh my god, somebody has an actual house here. What does this say? Well, and here we go. Oh, oh, that's another player. I was like, wait a minute. go we got a ammo crate right here oh wow wait that gave me so much ammo actually I think the enemy is up on the uh, edge instead Let's see I might as well do like a second of exploring here Got guard of materials. Oh, yep. Worth it. Sort of. Trash can. Do I still have yeah, I still have this ogle or something. If I can toggle something out. It's level seven monolith of greed. Oh, we also I guess from exploring up here we opened two more areas. There's the hospital. Starlight. There's also Book Rookham. Now too. Alright, let's go up here. that I have not fought one of those yet the first enemy that actually took more than like one hit to die There was a, a game called uh, Synced that came out, like, actually last year. I played the beta for that, and I, I had a good time with it, but the game actually dropped. I think it didn't drop at, like, a good time, though, but it was pretty much like a companion. Uh, like, it would put you... It was... It's so hard to explain, because it's PvEVP. You, you'd have like three teams dropping into the same location and your goal was to collect uh, two of the like major items or, or have more points than the other teams and then extract with it. So it's kind of like a uh, an extraction shooter but then it also had the cool aspect of having like a giant monster companion um this game kind of has some similarities to that in a way but the the one cool thing and the thing that i do like about this is that it's just one giant open world instead of like session based because you get put into a team and then you're kind of stuck in that team and then you do uh, you work together to do the objective but i kind of wish it was more along this lines of you're actually just either going into one open world and exploring it or um, maybe even going in yourself. I, I don't know how to drop that. Every time I pick that up.
Let's see if I can get up here. Oh, did I switch to my copper arrows? Yeah, I did. Cool. Grab this. That way we can teleport here whenever needed. Uh, the number's going down. It's down to zero right here. Huh. Maybe that's something that pops up later. The enemy types in this game are really cool. There are powerful rift entities lurking inside the monolith. Step into the rift and catch a glimpse of the entity's true form. Locate the rift entrance inside the monolith and interact with the challenge, a rift entity. It is recommended to team up first. Talk to Mary. I knew I could count on you. You're quite good at handling deviants, aren't you? I gotta say, we work well together. I really got to figure out what this... Well, let me see. Explorer's Guide. I think that's my health that's freaking out right now. <laughs> so... I should probably figure out whatever that is before I do anything. Um, Echoes of Stardust... Wiki. Oh, that's going to open up the page. Profile. Yeah, I'm looking at this right here. Okay. So my HP bar. Uh, help points represent if you're if you fall to zero, you must receive emergency healing or you black out. HP can be restored by consuming food and medicine. But the thing is, it has whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Let me check my stuff here. We have a lot of these. Try using one. Gastric discomfort, nausea, and vomiting due to consumption of raw food. Whoa. Wait, I didn't know that this game had that. Spoiled food? Oh, no. Sanity gummy. Bone fracture. Dormant candied fruit. Uh, I'm gonna ask, what is the black bar on your health? Oh, that's sanity? Oh, I'm going insane. Oh, well, I have something in my... I think it, the game probably told me about that, but I didn't see it. Wait, this food gives me better sanity. Try eating some corn. 
Uh oh. Oh, I get minus. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, uh oh. I need to look through my stuff again. Oh, we found a new hat. Maybe there's something here that uh, give me better sanity. Oh, oh. A bit thirsty. Oh, is that why my head looks like that? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, this right here. Your sanity will decline when you encounter monsters or enter pollution zones. Losing sanity will reduce your maximum HP. When your sanity drops more than half, you get a whim. It can only have six whims at any time. Uh oh, I have a whim right now. When attacking enemies with shock effect, continuous shock damage increased by 60%. And stability decreases by 30% for three seconds. All right, so what's going to give me more? I need plus sanity. Plus 500. Okay, so this will, get, this will help me a lot. Jeez. Made in a stove. Okay. Well, that's why. It's because my sanity was depleted so much. <laughs> it was literally at one. Yeah, this this was gone. And I wasn't keeping my sanity together. All right. Well, now I know. Let's see, event. Oh, this is the uh, current event going on. Or that's going to be starting. All right. We call V. Because I helped them out with the commissions earlier. Does it let me pick in any more? Up. Oh, no. Gather yeah, 100 or... In progress, melt any 50. Yeah, we can't do any more of those. So last time I was over here. All right, let's try entering the rift. And then now I want to see, is it going to prompt me? Open group. Target and A. I'm going to try it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Your join request has been denied, Dadge. Can I, like, see the team? All right, so if I'm over here, Monolith of Greed, can I auto-match? Maybe I can do... So let's do this. Go here, Rift. German Sight. Astral Void. Um... See, it doesn't say target. It says target and A. Don't worry. I mean, I can try this myself, right? Defeat the rift entity and secure the deviation. Breed danger zone. Master normal. 
Astral Void. What happens if I just create one? Oh, oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, that sends it to everyone. Huh. NA into group. Alright. I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, no way. Are you going to let me do it now? Alright, whatever. I'm going for it. Ravenous Hunter. Wait, it's Ravenous Hunter. Hold on. Hold on. Then maybe now if I go here. Ravenous Hunter hard. Ravenous Hunter normal. Oh, now I do show on under here. What happens if I try matching for Ravenous Hunter normal? Auto matching. What level was it? Uh, level 10 recommended two players. Oh, and then you get. Okay. Oh, I see. So if we go for our harder levels, it goes from level 10 to 50. Four players. Level 64. Alright, I'm going to try myself. Whatever. I don't want to wait too long. Enter. Auto matching already starts. I wonder how far out you can go. Well, I got my shotgun ready. I wonder if it'll just like pull me in. Like, am I able to leave and then come back here? I'm not sure what the case is. Oh, there's something down here. Try turning off that. All right, can I abandon this team? Wait, yes. Ready. All right, let's try it. Just give it a shot, see what happens. If it doesn't work out, I go back to uh, doing whatever exploration I can do and then come back when I'm prepared. <laughs> More. Help. Help me. Shouldn't have tried to take what was yours. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Jeez. You are truly a great one. Mercy, please. Without their submission, Okay, here we go. 
Ravenous Hunter. I'll actually use the gun this time. Oh god. I'm fine, I'm fine. I was gonna say if if it's just like this i mean i might be able to do it but it might just be a long run unless if we get something that lets you do more damage hold i might be able to use this First bar seems like it's probably the longest one. Oh, oh God. Wait, I can use that? No way. What? He's immune. See where this is going. Oh, he's still immune up there. Okay. All right, I think I might be safe now. Okay, maybe not. Once I knock that weapon out of his hand again, I'll be in a lot better state. Oh my god, the bow? Why is the bow so much better? I'm out here using my... <laughs> My shotgun doing 700 damage with the bow. Oh my god. Are you kidding me this whole time? Oh. Wow, this bow is good. This bow is killing it right now. I need to get rid of that shotgun. 
I don't know what I'm doing with it. Well, now I see why I'm one-shotting some enemies because the bow just does so much damage. Especially with one good headshot. Is he going back up there? Ouch. Come on. Oh no. Almost. Right there. Come on. Drink up. There it is. Got it. Man, that was pretty sick. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. I'm okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Don't don't forget the chest. Is this the treasure chest? It is. Secure. Eliminate. Huh. I don't know what the other option does. Yeah, I need to get rid of the shotgun. Whatever just happened back there, that was a little embarrassing. Okay. Me and the shotgun need to have a talk. <laughs> what was up with that? What the heck? This does... Maybe it's because... Uh, I guess. 49... So the damage with the shotgun is 49 times 6. But this thing is 440. I don't know. This bow is really good, though. I know that. That's for sure. All right, let's leave the dungeon. That was cool, though. Lone hero, finish the battle alone. We had our first official boss fight. Boss fight encounter. Yeah, this game is really something special. I... I mean, if there's, if you're playing online with friends or even just playing it, uh, using like a grouping system that actually works, that, that would actually be pretty sick right there. Like that would be really cool. I don't even know what what kind of group I tried joining to. <laughs> it could have been max level. Who knows? Greed Chrono Cage. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Rip gear from the same set of HP and pollution resistant bonus. Beyond this, there are also some additional bonuses to look out for. Oh, we're back, back here. It's Suko. Doctor. You did it. I knew you could. I don't know why I was so worried. Thank you. This really Thank means you. a lot to me. The fluctuations in stardust seem to have grown calmer. And I feel stronger now. The more deviations we contain, the more the world will stabilize. And the more Mitsuko's power can grow. We still have five more monoliths to shut down. Until then, the physical world remains too dangerous for Mitsuko. Yes. But this is already a huge step forward. To rally more support. I did, I did not get uh, help from another mayfly. Unless if the they're talking about the girl. Wiped out by Rosetta. All because of me. I was too weak to save them. It wasn't your fault. None of us were ready to take Rosetta head on. And Rosetta's not the only threat out there. 
The Great Ones also covet Mitsuko's power, so remember, keep everything involving her a secret. We don't know who we can trust. Okay. Rosetta's combat habitat. Well-trained Rosetta. Okay. Yep, that's all right. Yeah, I got to keep track of my sanity this time around. Open the uh, memetic, memetic, meme tick, the memetic screen to unlock bronze craft mem memetic. Bronze, uh, what was it? Bronze craft? That one was? It's got to be bronze. Yeah, it's got to be bronze casing. Casings. Mitsuko has shared some new memetics with us. After unlocking the garage and vehicle, Let's head back to our you can construct a... Profit. Okay, we already did that. Funny enough. Yeah, some of the, the text does not line up. Probably like translation or something. Go back to your personal territory. Alright, it's best travel back there. Return to your territory. Each isolation securement unit can only secure one deviation. New secure units need to be constructed when a new deviation is acquired after depositing deviation. Okay. Secure the festering gel in the territory secure unit. I'm guessing that's this thing. Festering gel. Oh, we found the... Oh. We found this buzzy bee one. This is the one that lets you uh, use it to mark the enemies. Try festering gel. <laughs> what the heck? What's it do? Mood? Wait, so it has a mood? Upon being thrown, it knocks back enemies nearby the target. You can rapidly deplete mood. Uh... Power beyond its dormancy threshold. Why does it keep flashing like that? Talk to Claire, talk to Samuel, and view Mary's message. Can I make another one of these? Structures. Enhanced effects. That's storage? No. Functional. Independent secure unit. Oh, does it? It requires energy or power, but it says zero. Huh. Left. Right. Uh. I don't know why I'm struggling to speak right now. Craft in the furnace. Where is the furnace, actually? Territory cores vault. Oh, this is my furnace. Do we need charcoal for glass. And then let me actually dismantle a bunch of this. Details, structures. Wait, didn't I just make a bunch of... Oh, I did make a bunch of charcoal. Cool. Make some glass. And then I'm actually going to drop down one of these. Oh, there's a meat dryer. The water things. Need more logs. still in the building I should make the copper I uh, axe probably would be worth it
wonder if the quest that I'm on is still level like five or level six. I started flying through those levels at one point. I was definitely doing more than I was supposed to. I mean, not, not necessarily. It's not like there's only one route to go, but definitely over leveled myself a bit, which is fine. You know, that works. My strength is really dropping right now. I think. Or whatever whatever this is. Oh, my stamina. Wait, does it just restore when you leave? Oh, it does. Drink some water. Let's make one of these. Not be supported. Does it have to be on one of my platforms? I put this right there. This way it'll collect some water. Did I have a stove? I don't think so. Could do another floor. Oh God. Please tell me that you can move items because if I start doing this, then it's going to be, uh, oh boy, it's going to be interesting. Wait, server verification in progress. Overlaps with collectible. Operations too frequent. Okay. Apparently I'm leaving my territory right now. Hey, I don't build for... <laughs> I'm building for efficiency right now, okay? So don't judge. No judgment yet. Let's try building a stove. Oh, we need charcoal now. Uh, yeah, we gotta make charcoal. Let's do like 25. How much of charcoal did I need actually? It'd be cool if you could set like uh, a blueprint in a specific spot. So that way you could be like, okay, let me yeah, put these items in there starting out. And then afterwards you go back and, you know, finish putting in the rest stardust resonant filter uh we need glass for this more copper of course okay grab the charcoal Open building. Let's go stove again. What? Oh, I need three more. I should have just made all the charcoal. All right, you know what? We're going to make all the charcoal. And then while that's going, let me go chop some trees and gather some more again. And I should also really make just the copper... or whatever might be a copper wait it, it does does it use the same axe for both things for 
for chopping trees and for I don't think it's like as it's not a specific pickaxe and then also a specific uh other thing. I think it just does they it, it uses the same item. Which is honestly kind of nice. I like that. Okay. I would go over there and grab some more. You know what? I'll grab this stuff. I've been seeing that a lot, but I haven't actually gone over to that thing just yet. Whatever that is. Okay. And, all right. See if we can craft that stuff now. Okay, stove. I don't know why I'm wanting to make this stove so bad, but uh, sure. Quest complete. What can we make here? Oh, okay. So yeah, you can make like boiled water. Where do you make those the gummy stuff? The stuff I have in my inventory, I think this can be, yeah, made in stove. I think that's why I wanted to make it because uh, now that I'm realizing how useful. Me. Hmm, maybe I can't make it just yet. Would make some of this, though. Decays over time become spoiled after 24 hours. Does this become decay? Durability? Ooh. Water does not go bad, though. Okay. What else can we craft here? Let me see if I can finally make this. Oh, I think that's what I wanted to do. The, uh, right here. The raid mask. Ah. <laughs> well. Yeah, I'm out of items to be able to craft that now, unfortunately. That's so all good. Uh, I need to get rid of this shotgun, whatever whatever was going on back there. I mean, this thing does 48 damage. Do I have a better... Oh, oh there we go. So is the bow that I'm using right now just something that I found? That's why I can't repair it, I don't think. Let's see. Copper, of course. Okay, you need more copper for that, and you need more copper for that. Let me grab some copper. Well, I do have plenty of copper ore. Really, now all I need is charcoal for a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't think I need to do any more copper. At least for a little bit. And these, these houses are really getting built up. Listen, I'll, when when the game actually comes out and everything, I'll, I'll take the time and build a cool house. Uh, probably. But, man. I will say, building your stuff on the fly like this definitely reminds me a lot of um, how I felt with Fallout 76, which I, I think that game's in a good state now, too. Um, I haven't played it for a while, but I would like to actually re revisit it. Right now, we're still working on Fallout 3 playthrough, uh, which I'm doing on Fridays. And funny enough, they they moved this show to fully release now tomorrow, technically, uh, on the 10th of April. So I'll probably watch like at least the first episode. Um, but yeah, we'll see if that if that's any good too. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna try making this gun. So uh, we go here. I don't think I have enough stuff for tier two. Yeah, this requires explorer level in eleven to twenty settlements. And then bronze ingot. The one thing I'm happy about with this game so far is I have not run into this issue of having too much in my inventory 
which I absolutely love. Love it for that. Empty bookcase? Oh, nice. Oh, this one's for combat. This one's for territory. Wait, is this one for combat too? It is. So synchronized to cradle form of fortification that blocks attacks. So it's like a tank ability. Twenty six damage. Somebody was one of the messages that I found out in the world was like, build the machine gun. It's worth it. Or the submachine gun. I kind of see why. That fire rate's eight fifty. I mean that the AK only has a little bit more damage. But the fire rate is way faster and it has five extra rounds. You know what? Honestly, I might make this instead. Crafted. Whip as primary. Nice. I was also using... Uh, during that combat scenario, I was using the... Let's see. Copper arrows instead. So I wonder, how do you change your... What ammo you're using? Damage, damage, damage... Can I equip this? Oh, cool. Muzzle. Optics. Okay. Got skins. Stickers. Charm. Yeah, I don't know how to change the... Because I have a bunch of special ammo now. Available. I got the same hat twice. Okay, cool. Let me get these. Got a lot of these now. Cool. All right, chat. Well, or well, not chat, but <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, we are actually going to chill right here. As always, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. We'll see if we hit the 20 like goal. Typically, I go live around 6 p.m. Eastern uh, on weekdays and then 9 a.m. Eastern on weekends. And then I do other streams throughout the day. You can join the Discord. All announcements every time I go live or any time I post a video. Uh, there's different channels that will notify you of those if you want to set notifications up. For now, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.